The next thing that you absolutely want to be 100% sure of is having an answer to What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Brianna and I'm a soon to be physician assistant student. I start PA school this August and I'm very, very excited to do so. I've just been shopping for things around my apartment, notebooks, pens. So if y'all would like to see a PA student essentials video, then please let me know in the comments below. If you are applying to PA school right now and have submitted your CASPA application, I know for a fact that you have been checking the PA forum and do not do this. Please, please, please. It'll kill you. I did it. I made the mistake and I saw others being invited for interviews or even being accepted and I was like, why in the world? I haven't even had the chance to do that. Know that your interview invite will come when it comes and all you can do right now is prepare. Prior to my PA school interviews, I had never been interviewed in my life, so I was definitely nervous. My nerves were through the roof. I was like, oh my gosh, what do I do? What do I do? If you've watched my other videos, then you know for a fact that I cried when I received my first interview invitation and I was super excited, but then I thought, oh my gosh, I have to interview. What kind of interview style is it gonna be? What am I gonna wear? How do I prepare? So I went online, I did some research, and these are the tips and tricks that I found that helped me the most when interviewing. If I moved positions, that's because I went to go get this book, but the first thing I did was bought the Physician Assistant School Interview Guide Tips, Tricks, and Techniques to Impress Your Interviewers by Savannah Perry. She is a practicing PA and she has a website called The PA Platform. It is very helpful, so if you haven't checked it out already, I suggest you do so. But I have all these little tabbies right here because those are the things that I thought were most important when I was preparing. I went through the whole book and I do highly recommend it. It talks about the different types of interviews you're going to have. So it's either going to be traditional, MMI, there's essays, there's group interviews, and I think that's it. But it talks about those kinds of interviews, what to expect, what to do to prepare, what to do after. And yeah, I went through the entire book. It was super helpful and I definitely recommend it. The second thing I suggest to do is interview the schools that you have been invited to interview. Some of them may ask, well, why do you want to attend this program? And you don't want to just say, oh, it's because like I'm applying to PA school, duh, I want to be a PA. Yes, that's why you apply to that program. But they want to know why specifically their program versus another one. If their school offers something that is unique to their program, such as they have some classes that are taught interprofessionally, meaning that some classes may be a mix of medical students, PA students, respiratory therapists, PT students, and that is something that you want in your curriculum then say that that's a reason why you want to attend their program it shows that you research their program and that you are genuinely interested in attending that school there are many different things so really do your research dig deep into their websites and find something that you absolutely love the next thing that you absolutely want to be a hundred percent sure of is having an answer to why do you want to become a physician assistant. I made sure that I did not have my answer memorized, but I did have a few bullet points of what I wanted to say if and when I was asked this question. Only one program did ask me it, but I was prepared to answer this question. You don't want to walk into the interview, be caught off guard, and then look like, oh, it's because I want to help people. Um, again, like I said in my personal statements video, this is not a really good answer to say just because there are many professions that allow you to help someone. So what is a PA specific reason of why do you want to become a physician assistant? I had an answer prepared for that one. I had an answer prepared for, again, like I said previously, why do you want to attend this program? And I had an answer prepared for tell me about yourself. These three questions I made sure to have an answer for. And again, like I said, you don't want to have a memorized answer and end up sounding like a robot or end up sounding all monotone and boring. But you do want to have an idea of what you want to say. So I suggest having an answer or just write down bullet points for those three major questions. Okay, so once you have all of your answers down for those kinds of questions, the next thing that you want to do is, okay, wait, 
I'm gonna do a little pause right now and say that this video is all about doing research. If you need to pause this video, write things down, or go and do your research and come back to this video, I'm really telling you that these tips and tricks are really helpful and are gonna be really beneficial to you. So with that being said, the next thing that you need to do is research what kind of type of interview the program that you're gonna go interview with does. Is it traditional? Is it MMI, which stands for multiple mini interviews or I think some other program called it something multiple medical interviews, something like that. But those are just different stations that you go to. Are they group interviews? Do you have an essay portion that you need to do? Is there going to be like some kind of little mini test that you're not aware of? You really want to become aware of these kinds of interviews just so that you can be prepared and not go in and think like, oh my gosh, what is this? Or like, what am I doing? I'm not saying that you need to have answers memorized for every single question or that you need to prepare and do a bunch of research on questions and have answers for those like I already said, but you do want to become aware of the type of interview so that you can just enter and feel a little bit more calm and feel less stressed about the interview. I am telling you this book really helped it's all backwards. I'm so embarrassing. I'm telling you that this book really helped me with that. But if you can't purchase this book, then go online and again, do your research. Figure out what is a traditional interview. And it's just going to say that it's a one-to-one -one interview or two-to-one or even maybe a panel of interviewers interviewing you. And it's just like kind of rapid fire questions where you get to really elaborate on yourself. The second kind is MMI, which again, like I said, stands for multiple mini interviews. And as the name says, there's going to be different stations and it can either be role playing, you're going to draw something, or you're going to answer some questions. You can go on YouTube and this really helped me. I just kind of watched some videos over MMI interviews and there's like ethical questions that may be asked and there's a certain way that you want to make sure you're answering the question. It's just they want to know your opinion, how you approach that question. And by watching those videos, on YouTube I really did learn a few things that I found really helpful if I find some I'll link them below of the ones that I watched but for the most part just search up MMI interviews after doing all of that research boring hard part stuff then I went shopping for a suit and this is probably my most favorite part of the whole interview process just because I do love fashion a lot but if you already own a suit, then you absolutely do not have to buy one. Just make sure that it looks professional, it is clean, and you are confident in what you are wearing. With all of the coronavirus things that are happening right now, I'm not sure how your interview process is going to be. But if, but if it is through Zoom, you still want to look very presentable and professional. I went shopping everywhere. And when I say I went everywhere, I mean every single store. The place where I found almost everything for my outfit was H&M. Their size range is very exclusive, so I do recommend starting there if you are trying to look for something that looks very nice and professional. H&M is also very budget friendly. It did cost me a pretty penny, around $80, but my wallet did not absolutely suffer if I would have bought a $300 suit. I felt confident, I felt good, and I knew that when I walked into the place to interview, I was going to feel myself and that's what you want in an outfit you don't want to feel uncomfortable you don't want to feel tight or like uh itchy because i know i have felt that before you want to feel good so make sure that your outfit exemplifies who you are your style and the confidence that you hope to have that day <laughs> the last thing and i know i've probably talked a little bit too much but the last thing that you want to do is be aware of the location of where you're going to interview if it is an in-person interview you don't want to be lost you don't want to be running late because you didn't know where your interview is going to take place find where the parking is going to be or if you're having someone drop you off then just know what building you're going to be in and it's going to save you a lot of time in the morning when you're already very nervous I wish you guys the best of luck. If you have any questions, like always, feel free to ask me. Comment them down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and thumbs up this video. Turn on your post notifications bell on. And like always, I hope you all have an amazing and amazing day. And I will see you all next Sunday. Bye.